Hey guys, Sigma here. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about linear functions. Um, specifically, I'm going to be talking about the differences or the difference between iterations of a linear function. And I'm sure we all know a linear function is described as mx plus b. You know, f of x is equal to mx plus b. And, what, and, and here's an example of what it looks like when, when I say iteration, right? And so iteration is you're taking the output of a function and you're going to put it as your input for the same function, right? And you just continue the process over and over again. So we're going to take a segment, right? So we're going to take a look at this... Uh, and, you, and really, honestly, you, you could do um, you could do this at any point, right? But one of the things I do want to stress is that, you know, the, the x of n plus 1 and the x of n plus 2 are important things to know when, uh, when, you're, when you're doing these types of calculations, especially when, when you're doing iterations. You know, you want to know how many times you've done the iteration, right? And that's generally denoted with the x of n plus 1 n is generally zero. You've done it zero times. By the time you get x of n plus one, right, you've, you've iterated it, you've, go, you've gone through the function once already, right? You've done it once. So n is always equal to zero. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate the differences between iterations of a function. And and in a moment here shortly, I'm going to give you guys a uh, an example of, of of this such a calculation. And, and so here's what you need to know. Right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be calculating the area under under a function. Right. And so the area under a function is you know is is, is from an integral, you know. And so specifically here, this is, this is what we're going to be um, calculating. Right. And we, you can see here that there's x of n plus 1 and x of n plus 2. These are the two iterations, right? Each one is an iteration. x of n plus 1, that's, that's, your, first, that's your first run through. And x of n plus 2, that's f of x of n plus 1, right? Now moving along, let me show you something else here. Now, now if we if we if we you're, you're right. So if we so if we take a look back here at this uh, at this, we notice that this shape, right, this shape is consisted of a rectangle and a triangle, right. I'd, I'd say the triangle on top or the wedge, whatever kind of shape you want to describe it as, but the rectangle is, is below, right? Remember that, you know, we all know from geometry, you know, um, squares are rectangles, but rectangles aren't squares. So, and, and that, that can become important whenever you're looking at certain linear functions like y equals x. So, and, and, and okay, so in, in moving along here, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract out that rectangular region, okay? So we're going to calculate it using this integral, and then we're going to subtract it using this value. The value that we get from this function, or not function, but, but we get from this, this equation here. And so you can kind of work that out. So we're going to, we're going to take this example function, right, which is 2x plus 3. Right? And... Here I have laid out for you the few iterations, you know, for us to calculate. For our calculation, it's pretty easy, you know, you can do this with yourself, you can follow. You can follow along. Right. And and here's what we're going to do. Because it's, it's really easy, all you have to do is calculate the area under the curve. Okay. First, you know... 
it's it's uh we're gonna we're gonna if we go back here we say x of n plus one right x of n plus one was three right so we're gonna go from x of n plus one and then f of three was nine so we're gonna use that from three to nine right and we're going to, and here's what that looks like, right? Not too terribly, you know, difficult. Now, the next part, right, is we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have to work out the subtracting. We're going to have to subtract out that rectangular region, right? And just by simply placing in those values that we had there before, um, here's what that looks like. And so we see that the value that we get in our example is 24, right? And this, this, this value is very important for many reasons, right? This value is important for many reasons, right? So when we, when we take a look back, right, we noticed that we had 40, our last two iterations was 45 and 21. And here's why I say, that that value is important because 45 minus 21 here is 24. All right? And and here's here's another way of looking at this. All right? We we're, another way to describe this is the difference between these two functions, right? Because we know that this is f of this, this is f of there, you know. And it's not necessarily just the difference between functions. It's the difference between the iterations of a function. You see what I'm saying? So, now, there's one more important part that I, that I want to say. And it's that when we take a look at this, we'll note that, you know, <laughs> well there's a certain pattern that's going to unfold the further along we go. And here's that pattern. We have m raised to a power multiplied by b. So the slope to a power multiplied by your y-intercept will always give you that difference between that, those, those, those iteration, iterations. So for each iteration, right, we noticed that we went up to three iterations because we got to uh, f of x of n plus 3. So that gives us m to the third power. Remember, n was equal to 0. m to the third power, right, which is m was 2. We can just work it out. We can see how it is. And so, uh, yeah, and, and this is true. No matter how far along you go, no matter what, what, no matter whether you change the slope or whether or not you change the y-intercept, you know, this value uh, will always hold true to this formula. And so to conclude, right, what we can do is we can, we, we will look at this and we'll say, you know, wow, you know, this is the whole thing in its entirety, right? It's, it's, if I had to say it out, it would be, but it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting thing. So uh, as little, as little, um, you know, it's, it's the small things that matter, you know, uh, differences show up not only on the, on the Y axis, but you'll also see it on the X axis as well. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. So yeah. Um, enjoy. I'll see you.